How's it going, everybody? I keep forgetting to make a video about this saw. I've been asked so many times, what's that John Red on the shelf? Uh, I threw this into my favorite saws uh, video that so many people watch and enjoy, but I haven't really shown you guys this. So I'm going to bring you guys in. These are probably, in my opinion, the best all-around firewood, homestead, farm and ranch, uh, general purpose saw. These, this class of saw is incredible. They are often looked over and most people turn these into 372s. And I think that's a shame because they run amazing. What do we have here, friends? We have a John Red 2165. Let's have a look at it. Okay, I picked this saw up uh, off a buddy of mine. He had a couple of these, I think, or I can't remember the story. I think he bought, I think he bought two of these off a guy. That guy has a a a 2171, I believe, too, which is the 70 cc version of this. Okay, this thing's this thing's dirty. It's a firewood saw, and uh, I'm happy to have it now, friends. A lot of you guys might know what this is, but some of you might not. This is a Johnson Red version of a 365 Special, okay? This is a 48 millimeter top end on a 372 chassis. Now, this is a red 372 chassis. Okay, now, what, what do you get with one of these? Well, friends, I'm going to tell you something. My first, like... Did, does everything. The saw that I first fell in love with from Husqvarna that I bought, uh, that I actually built, it was one of the first Huskies I ever rebuilt. I was doing stills mostly at that time. It was a 365 Special. The first video on this channel is me running my 365 Special. Okay? And uh, that saw was incredible. It ran good. It was super reliable. I've never even popped the hood on this thing, friends. Okay, I ran that 365 Special for a long time. Oh, I wonder if we got an intake issue here. It's a little wet. Oh, well. Okay, I ran a 365 Special for a long time. It was my big saw. Now, these aren't big saws, friends. These are only 65 cc's. But they run, and they run really good, okay? Um, this, in my opinion whether it be orange or red, is the best chassis ever built, period. The 372 chassis. Now, I know some people will argue that maybe it's the still 044. You guys know I have one of those too. That's a good saw. Um, but I just think all, all in all, this, this chassis is incredible. It has about the best anti-vibe up until the new saws. Let's be honest, friends. The new saws are smooth. But, uh, these are great saws, 48 millimeter bore, 36 millimeter stroke. So she's got grunt. Um, basically, if you've never been inside one of these, this is a miniature version of a 372. Now, why do I like these and recommend them to the average guy? These, this class of saw, if I can get this back on here. Old Fumble Fingers Tin Man. There we go. This class of saw makes a super, super broad power curve, which is easy for the average guy to use. These are very, very torquey saws. I think I got that on there, right? And they're just, they're just a pleasure to run. Um, 372 has more power, for sure. And when the time is right and we're out and about, I'll, uh, we can run this against a stock 372 because I have one of those now. And you guys can see what is the difference. Um, 372's got a little more pull up top. It's got bigger transfers, bigger bore, same stroke. But these are just nice to live with on a day to day. That top cover's fitting kind of funny, but we'll leave it. Okay, so all I'm going to do, friends, I'm going to fire this up today and make a few cuts with it and just show you guys show you guys about it this thing is bone stock i've never done anything to it i've never run this saw friends i bought it i bought it uh late i don't know late summer and put it on the shelf and i haven't i haven't really had the time 
because I I've been cutting so much firewood, but I haven't been I've been grabbing saws that you know I want to run and saws that I've built. Like I cut a ton of firewood with Buckins 266 this this year, which was a lot of fun. And now uh, as winter continues, I'll be uh, I'll be running Hogan's 266. Putting some miles on that, making sure it's good. You have the external adjuster, which I'm not used to because I run old turd saws. You guys know that. I like the old stuff, though. Oh, that's close. I try and line these up before I put them on. But this is a nice saw. Like, I would go into battle of this thing, and I bet you it's going to run good. Um, it's in nice shape. I haven't looked at the piston yet, but it feels like it has good thump, so. Are we missing the nut? We might be, friends. Oh, right here. There we go. I was going to say, I put, I put a new nut on this thing. It was missing a... When I got it off the guy, he was like, oh, it's missing a bar nut. I was like, that's okay. I buy, I buy them by the package because so many huskies coming through here. Sometimes they got boogered bar nuts on them. I like to just replace them. Okay. It's a 28 full house. I can't wait to run this. I haven't, I have not. I think I fired this thing up once, but I don't think I've I definitely haven't put it in the wood. This is the first time this saw's had a bar on it. Okay, beauty. It is cold out. Okay, let's fire this thing up and see. Does it even run? <laughs> it might not. It's going to be lean. Everything's lean this time of the year because of the weather. okay needs a muffler mod doesn't it we'll do that another day though okay let's put this thing in the wood and give her a try okay let's fire this thing up this saw has limiters on the carb that's why it's so lean so we'll have to deal with that okay let's fire this thing up
frozen up. saw oh it's cold out here you guys hear how lean this saw is Eesh. limiters are not good in the winter a lot of scored up saws here guys that cut in the winter a lot of us do um wood splits in the winter here that won't split in the summer like this ash yeah we were splitting it when bucking was here but the stuff's hard on axe handles and and hands so Usually I split hardwood with nothing more than a good power saw. Did you guys hear this thing just tractors through the wood? It is not a high RPM saw. I think these are like 13,000 RPM. Somewhere around there, high 12s. But they just pull. They're just a nice saw to run. Uh, they oil like crazy. They're really smooth in the hand. I forgot how smooth this chassis is. But uh, they're just nice saws, friends. And, if you're looking for an all-around, just a does-everything saw, a 365 Special or a 2165 really could fit the bill for you. I ran my 365 Special stock for a year. Then I did a muffler mod. I think some of this is on the channel if you go back three years ago, maybe. I originally did a muffler mod and base gasket delete, which, which actually really woke the saw up. Then I did a 30 thou, um, I did a 30 thou cut on the base of the piston and hogged out the transfers. I put it back together like that and it ran really good like that. And then I continually went on 
Uh, the first saw I ever ported on the channel was a 365 special. I still run that saw all the time. Uh, it's out on loan for a project right now. I'm getting a pipe made for that saw, so that's why I don't have it here. But um, when I get it back, it would actually be fun to do some cuts, ported 365 versus stock, and just see how they line up. Um, my ported 365, I did that earlier on in my timing wheel career. That saw is a really high exhaust roof. It's more of a finesse saw than a grunt saw. So it's, uh, I enjoy running it, but it has its places. It's not a saw that I take to every cutting scenario because um, the exhaust roof's too high, friends. Um, I think the exhaust roof on that is like 99, somewhere around there, 98. Um, I originally had it at 102, 101, and it actually, I prefer it like that. Uh, I was cutting oak that winter. Again, if you go back in the channel, there's videos of me cutting, oh, I just won't fell there. Me cutting oak in wintertime uh, with my 365, the exhaust was at like 101 there, and I think it was perfect. So, um, what should we do with this saw, friends? I think it would be a shame to make it a big bore. Like, I could put a 52 mil top end on this and make it a 372, which I might, but I think when the time is right this winter, I got lots of projects planned. I think it'd be fun because there's so many of these out there. A lot of you guys have this chassis, whether it, whether it be a 365 Special or a 2165. A lot of you guys have these and run them. And maybe you don't have money to put a, a bigger top end on. I certainly did, didn't when I built mine. My 365 came in a box and um, blown up and I assembled it. I didn't have more money. I think I had about 350 into that saw by the time I was done. I didn't have more money to put into that saw. I needed to cut wood. So um, I tweaked it a little here and a little there and made it what it is now. So um, I think we'll do the same with this. Maybe we'll just, we'll dive into this and see what kind of power we can get out of a 365 special. Uh, I know what we can get out of it. It's a good, they're a good, good running saw. So one more thing, friends. And again, uh, for for the newer folks to Husqvarna, do not confuse the 365 Special with the 365 X Torque. Totally different saw. Uh, I did a video. I'll try and put a link right up here to that video on the difference between 365s. This is actually a 372 with different transfer caps, so the transfers are smaller, which lowers the RPM of the saw slightly. Okay. Um, I don't really like this saw. I bought it for the channel and I thought I'd run it and um, in stock form, I just find, sorry, th this side cover is missing pieces. I keep forgetting to change it, but um, I thought I would run this saw and after running it, it's, uh, and this isn't a shot to anybody that runs one of these. There's millions of these. These things are so common where I live. Um, these saws are really lean. At least this one is, uh, the way it comes out of the box. It's got a super quiet muffler on it, even quieter than this one. And it's just kind of whatever for the weight of it and that it just, it doesn't make the kind of power that I want. Um, a stock 372 or an original edition to me is just such a, a sweeter running saw. Um, so I think my idea with this one is this will be the one that I convert to an original edition 372. I'll put the, I'll put a 52 mil big bore on it and change the intake and show you guys how to, uh, there's some carb, there's a little trick you got to do with the carb, but I think we'll do that with this. But before I do that, you guys see, uh, we're going to get into some 372 stuff. I've never really done any of that on this channel and, uh, I wanted to collect enough 372s. So we have a 2165, we have a 365 Special, we have a 365 X Torque, and I have a 372 Original Edition. So I basically have all the different saws that I would like to work with on this chassis. We can show you what we can do with them. But anyways, friends, don't confuse that with this. This is 50 millimeter, that's um, 48. So this is 72 cc's, that one's like 65. So um, just not to be confused. Still a good saw. It runs okay. It pulls chain. I just, I don't know. Um, maybe this, maybe this one's a little tired. Maybe it needs a carb kit and, and a few little mods to it. But 
this particular saw it's it just doesn't run that great for me it's it's kind of i don't know it, it just doesn't make good power um i think i'm going to put this back on the shelf and think about it because maybe this ends up on my bench really soon maybe we'll maybe we'll just butcher this thing and make it go fast with the parts that are on there anyhow okay friends it's getting really dark and gloomy out uh, hopefully you guys enjoyed that I, I get so many questions about this saw and i kept forgetting to pull it out so i was like ah let's do it today's the day R runs good it reminds me of when i got my original 365 um, I cut so much firewood without things stock and it made good power and it was just a nice saw. It's good on fuel. Yes, I run a, uh, 562 all the time, but you know what friends? I think I would rather run this than the 562 only for one reason. It's got just a wider torque curve. You see it there. It didn't bog down once noodling frozen spruce or frozen ash. That's softwood and hardwood. I wanted to show you guys both of them. Um, this thing didn't slow down one bit. It just pulled and cut and did its thing. I just find these are just good, solid, reliable saws. So again, if you're looking for a one saw does everything, this might be the chassis for you. Um, whether it be a 365 Special or a 2165, these are great saws and I, I really enjoy them. Anyhow, friends, I'm going to stop flapping. Uh, that's what I wanted to do today. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Uh, I'm starting to feel stronger and, and getting healthier after having COVID. So um, I'd like to start doing some more port work and getting deep into some projects. Anyhow, friends, thanks for hanging out. I appreciate all your support. Um, if you've sent a package or something in the mail lately, um, I'm going to be going to the mail this week. Um, we haven't been friends. We've been so sick in the house that we haven't really done much of anything. So um Thank you uh, for your patience. So if you've said something, it's probably still at the mailbox. Anyhow, friends, thanks for watching. Take her easy, and I'll see you guys in a couple days later. And don't underestimate these. These are really, really good saws, in my opinion. Later.